Hi everyone, my name's Katie. Um, I've been a Vera collector for about two years now. I really enjoy um, collecting the collaborations, especially the Harry Potter collaborations. And Vera just released their fifth and what store associates have told me is the final, uh, at least for a while, Harry Potter collaboration Friends at Hogwarts, including the Friends at Hogwarts ditzy pattern. Um, so they did release this, uh, there are two patterns in the collection. One is like the main one with like their signature, like the crest and the paisleys. Um, and then they also have a ditzy pattern that usually um, comes on the inside and it comes with in the, the smaller pieces. Um, so what you'll see in this video um, are, I've got quite a few pieces. I, I usually only order a large bag and a small bag from the collections and later on I'll try to get like a blanket or something like that. With this one I was super afraid since it is rumored to be the last one. Confirmed by two Superstore Associates, at least with me. Um, I, I thought this would sell out very quickly. And to my surprise, <laughs> usually when I, I say I, I love a, a pattern or I love a piece from Vera, um, it's usually a week after launch day and the stuff is usually sold out. So I'm like, well, I don't want to make a video if no one can go and purchase it, um, except for like the third party websites, which is just way too pricey <laughs> in my opinion. Um, but I was super excited to find that all of the pieces that you'll see here today, you can actually still purchase on Vera's website. And um, if you're actually looking for a store to order from, I got several of my pieces from um, actually a store in Florida. So feel free to call stores down there. They have some excellent pla uh, pattern placements. I actually FaceTimed with one of the associates and she was absolutely fantastic. Um, I've, I've actually called a bunch of stores here in the past several months looking for pattern placements and everyone has been fantastic. You can't beat Vera's customer service, uh, at least in my experience. Um, and I can also recommend the stores in Sevierville, Tennessee, and then also Knoxville, Tennessee. The ladies there have been super helpful and they have a great selection there. Um, so I can highly recommend those if you're looking to place a phone order, um, just be aware of shipping. I think it's $100 uh, to order to get free shipping. Um, if not, I think it's about like $10. So um, so I'm going to show you the pieces I have on hand are the mini backpack, which is a new style for me. I'm excited to go through and show you what exactly this can fit because it actually might surprise you if you're uh, usually a triple zip hipster lover, but you're eyeballing this, I might have some good news for you. I have the medium cosmetic and the ditzy print. Um, and then I have both triple zip hipsters. Vera released, um, just like the Star Wars release, they did the main print and the two, well, they did two different prints. So they did the main print in this and the ditzy print. So I have both to show you if you're trying to make a decision like me. <laughs> I might still return one of them. I'm not sure yet, uh, but I have both of them to show you. And then I actually have both Vera totes, the um, solid color embroidered, one and then I have the uh, the patterned Vera tote to show you. So if you're between those, I might have some uh, some insights for you to help you choose. Let's start with the mini backpack. Um, oh, and then I have the zip ID. <laughs> if you're curious, so this is the mini backpack. Um, I am usually a triple zip hipster girl, and when I first saw this in the Aerial collection that they released back in April or May. Um, I didn't like this at all. <laughs> um, I usually don't like these type drawstring style bags with the two side pockets and no zipper pocket up front. Because usually the way I do my, my, um, the where I put my wallet, which I usually carry a zip ID, a small <laughs> wallet like this. Um, I usually put it in a front pocket or the very first pocket on a triple zip hipster. Just a small zipper pocket where it's safe and, um, or at least harder to get into. <laughs> this bag does not have that. Um, however, I have found some ways to make it work. Um, it does have two side pockets, like I mentioned. The straps are highly adjustable, so they can go in even a little bit further. I like to wear mine low on my back, so that's why they're kind of out, but they can certainly be taken in or taken out. Um, I did get some pretty good placement on here. Um, I got the kitty cat. 
So I did go pick out my placement at the Knoxville, Tennessee store. The ladies were so kind and brought like six bags out for me. <laughs> I told them I'm looking, I'm looking for the cat and they brought six bags out and I chose this one. Um, I actually sat and looked at two of them for 10 minutes. <laughs> the ladies were great. I kept saying, I was like, I will move um, so others can look at something. I'm like, I'll, I'll promise I'll make a decision. They're like, honey, take your time. We do the same thing. <laughs> so I'm um, really gl glad to find some kindred spirits at the Knoxville store. Um, but I ended up going with this one because I had a full kitty cat here, which I tend to leave this flap open just so I can have easier access here. So the kitty cat does show. And uh, that's Minerva. Sorry, Minerva. Sorry to keep calling you a kitty cat. Um, and then I have Norbert right here, Dobby right here. And then I have, I love the Cornish Pixies with um, my favorite magical object is actually the Time Turner. So, and I love Crookshanks batting at it. I, I have a kitty cat myself, so I love this piece. Um, and then up top right here, one of my all-time favorite pieces of the Ditsy pattern is Buckbeak because he is actually wearing the Raven Claw, Claw scarf. Um, three out of four house scarves are actually hidden in the Ditsy pattern, and then all four scarves are hidden in the Home to Hogwarts, at least that I've seen. I haven't actually asked Vera yet to see if I can, um, the Gryffindor scarf is the one missing from the Ditsy, so I'm actually kind of curious to message them and say, hey, is this somewhere on here that I'm missing, or did y'all just not include it? I think they may not have just not included it because you have Dobby right here who's associated with the Gryffindor team. <laughs> um, but he's wearing the Hogwarts scarf is what I noticed. Um, it's a pretty great placement. Um, here's the pockets. I got the, the Harry's suitcase and Hedwig right here with the golden snitch. And then the other owl, the Weasley's owl. And then I got the Cornish Pixies again with Dobby and Crookshanks right here. So pretty good placement. I'm pretty happy about it. Um, then even on this little handle that I, comes in handy, like for hanging on doorknobs where my dogs can't get my bags because they love eating the sunscreen out of my bags or the lip glosses. So this comes in handy. I can just put it on my doorknob on my room. Um, but it even has good placement. Look at the pumpkins right through there. Um, so about what's what I can fit in it. So I put my hand sanitizer, spray hand sanitizer in one and bat, uh, outside pocket. And then on the other one, I'll usually put my sunglasses or my phone. And then I this drawstring comes in handy. This is why I say if you have the triples at Hipster and you're wanting to try something new, this might be a good bag for you because although it might look mini, this drawstring allows you to fit so much more. I have a very large wallet in here. And then actually, here's where your organization comes into play because another reason I love the triples at Pipster is organization. You do have a zippered pocket back here where I have put my AirPods. And you can fit so much more back here if you want, like if you wanted to do keys or um, oftentimes I'll just plop my wallet in here sometimes. Um, you can. I have a really large the RFID wristlet in here. Side note, wish they would have put the Ditsy on in this because I totally would have bought it. Save me some money. It's fine, Vera. Um, and then I actually have this bag holds three sunscreens in it. A face sunscreen, a um, three ounce hand lotion, and then a five ounce sunscreen in there. So I was pretty excited to get all of that in here with space to spare. And then I have a coin purse with some lip glosses, some cosmetics, contacts, just little odds and ends that I need in here. My mask, and then on, you have a slip pocket on the other side, right here. And I've just put some, like a hand lotion and a couple of lip glosses in there. Um, I have a mask tucked away in there, just in case. You never know these days. And then, <laughs> and then I have just some aspirin. I busted my foot, so I have that just in case the swelling goes back up. And then my keys, I just plop in there on top, so they're easily reachable. Um, if you do want to do a zip ID in here, which that's usually my go-to wallet, a lot of people with zip that with the triple zip hipsters use that wallet as well, just because it's the right size. It's a manageable size in there. Um, you can tuck it in that back zippered pocket 
is what I usually do. Or I take this out because I don't need another wallet and I'll just tuck it in behind my other things. You can see where I took out that large wallet. You have so much more room to put other things if you need to. But that's why I love the mini backpack. So I just, um, I'll cinch it up with all this in here just so you can see. Uh, there's nothing in it so it's kind of hard to stuff it in there there's like nothing giving it structure right now okay <laughs> but so what I'll do is I'll just cinch this up nothing's getting out and then I'll just leave this open typically so you can see the kitty cat right there and it's easy to access and then it just goes across my back super cute really great size for me um, really surprised me at how much I loved the style. Um, so mini backpack. <laughs> if you're looking for something new and um, like a new style that Vera's done recently, um, I recommend that. It's really well constructed. I know there's been some problems with the mini backpacks um, and how they're structured. Um, so this one's a little bit more simpler. So if you're hoping for like good construction, good placement, the mini pack pack is a great way to go with this um, pattern release. Um, the next thing I have to show is the Zip ID and the Ho Friends at Hogwarts Ditsy. Um, I was specifically looking for Minerva, the cat on top of the books with this. Um, I did not find great placement with that. So I went with my second choice which I'm super happy with this. I'm glad I found it because it's super centered. <laughs> I loved it. So it's got the buck beak right here with the um, Ravenclaw scarf. I love the pumpkins in the pattern and the Norbert, Norberta. Um, and then on the other side, internally, you have the golden snitch pattern. Um, and then nothing crazy to write home about the front of this, which I don't care about this side anyways, because it's going to have my ID and stuff in it. I don't care. Um, this is the piece de resistance for me. But I was tickled pink to find um, a time turner right here. And then the little stars along here just really make this pattern. I love that they incorporated that into both versions of this pattern. But Zip ID, if you're looking for a way to experience the pattern, but maybe um, you don't want to spend a lot on it, or you're not sure if you're going to love it or not, grab one of these. <laughs> Either order it from the website, order a couple from the website, and then return one. If you want, uh, I've done that before, just to like to have a choice in my pattern placement or call a store. Um, they're super happy to hold something for you or to ship it for you. Again, that $10 shipping charge. Um, but if you're ordering something else and you just wanna see if you like the Harry Potter pattern, this is a great way to experience it without having it spend a good chunk of change. I think this one ended up being um, 2025, I think. Um, and then getting into the Medium Cosmetic, this is my most recent pur purchase. Um, I, if I wanted, if I did get this, a small piece to hold, like, I call these the can carry anywhere and anything pieces. So they're great. If you're looking for something that you can use every day, but you don't want to spend a large amount, this is a great option. I can just throw this in a Vera tote or my campus backpack, backpack and go to work with it. Um, I'll use this to travel. So I'll use like, I'll put my shampoos, soaps in here. I'll use this for actual like cosmetics, my makeup and stuff. Cause it does have the plastic liner in here. That's easy to wipe out with the golden snitch pattern. Or I'll use this for video games. Like I have my uh, switch. I'll usually have that in a slender small case. And then I'll put like my charging cord, um, and then I'll stick like my games in the front pocket here. Um, this one is not plastic lined, so just kind of be careful about that if you are doing cosmetics. Um, but I did get pretty good placement with this one. I did get to choose it. The um, I highly recommend the Severable store. They had a bunch of these in, so I got to really sit down <laughs> and pick three or four and then narrow it down. Um, but I did get... Uh, Buckbeak, the pumpkins and Norbert. I got a really great Dobby and then the kitty cat right here and then a really great placement on the back with the time turner. So just really great. I'm probably going to end up uh, switching into this for my um, Q 
cord organizer, which is also a great option. And so, uh, this one was 50, the cord organizer is 45. You really can't go wrong with either one. I just went with this one because I have the cord organizer in the Forbidden Forest. And I thought this would give me a few more options. Like it does have that plastic liner so I can use it for more things. Okay. Um, kind of kind of go through these quickly. I wanted to keep this video under 20 minutes. So um, with the triple dip hipsters, I blind ordered um, I the, the ditzy one. I blind ordered the ditzy one. Um, for my first purchases, I my, what I thought was going to be my own were only going to be my only purchases. Um, I wanted the the Vera tote in the pattern, the large one that is. And then I um, after talking with a store associate, talking about pattern placements, um, and it ended up the store I called didn't have either of the items that I wanted. So I was like, you know what? I'll just order blind. It'll be okay. <laughs> um, and after talking to the store associate, she recommended the ditzy pattern because it was uh, easier to get a great placement. So I was like, okay, that's fine. And then um, I was on Instagram looking at some of the Vera stores and what they had posted. And um, a Vera store in Florida had posted the my ideal pattern placement. <laughs> so I called them up and I said, hey, do you have this bag? And it just so happened I called the Florida store that had posted that video. And she was kind enough to FaceTime with me, the store associate. She was so great, so friendly. Um, and uh, I said, I, I really like that one, if, we could, if you could put that one aside. But I also, I want to see what else you have um, because the back, the front of that one was super great. But with the back, I wanted to get a little bit more of the pattern um, just so I could have it. So she was kind enough and showed me every bag that they had and the triple zip hipster. And I found this one, which is my perfect one. And this one is not going back. <laughs> uh, the question now is, um, is the ditzy one going back? Because this one is not, it is super perfect. I'm super glad I got to end up picking my pattern placement on this um but you can see I got the big um crest in the front I got the Cornish Pixies right uh no that's not Cornish Pixie Ravenclaw scarf and um Hedwig Norbert the pumpkin was my favorite it's what sold this and then the gorgeous sorting hat right there um and then a lot of triples of pipsters, they tend to be repetitive in the three sections up front right here. This one was not, so I was super happy about that. And then here's the back. Oh, the front. The front also with this one, it has the um, the time turner on it. The original one that I picked out did not because it was the pattern itself was like moved down a little bit. So the one with that one that I had picked is I would have gotten Dobby, who is at the top of this crest right here. Um, but I preferred the, the time turner with buck beak and the monster book right here. Um, and then here's the back, which sold it for me as well. The Cornish pixies picking from the book, the pumpkin. And then I got both sides of the other crest, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, the time turner, shanks, the love potion with the cauldron, fluffy with the harp, just some really great placement. I, I feel like I got the entire pattern in this triple zip hipster. Um, and then the cool thing with this pattern is they did hide all four scarves in the main pattern. So let me try to pick them out for you. Here's Ravenclaw. Hmm. I can't look at it <laughs> backwards and pick them out. Ravenclaw and then where are the others? Probably on the back. Oh, there's a Slytherin at the tail end of this this uh, crest, and then on the others, let's see here. There's the Hufflepuff scarf right there, and then there's the the Gryffindor. Again, love the stars in this pattern. It really made it. Okay, next we have the Ditzy. And I told myself the Ditsy would be going back, and I said, watch me get a great placement. And I did. <laughs> um, so here's, uh, I have Minerva up front here, the Cornish Pixies with the Time Turner, Buck Beak right here and right here, and then Dobby, and then Norbert right here. So I don't think it'll come, I don't think it'll be going back, which doesn't upset me at all. Here's your three pockets. 
It doesn't upset me at all because I, I will use it is the thing. If I weren't going to use these triples at Pipsters out the wazoo, I would send it back, but I, I will use it. And then you have your cell phone pocket right here. And then the straps, I got good placement on the straps with the, the pumpkin right there. So it's probably not going back <laughs> just because I had good luck with this, extremely good luck with this uh, launch. Okay, um, so let me, I, I ended up ordering the patterned tote and then they had a mix up with um, the website. They, they um, switched the photos and I, when I ordered, I asked the sales associate that I was ordering with about it. I said, hey, your patterned tote is at 150 and the plain one with the embroidered patches is 140. It's usually reversed. Did they, like, what's up with this one? And she said, her explanation was that since the embroidered tote was not a corduroy or a velvet, since it was a plain recycled cotton this time, it is listed as cheaper as the patterned tote, this one. And I'm like, okay, I, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, it's not a velvet or a corduroy, so it's not like the usual price. Um, and then I went on vacation and then I came back, opened up my package and this is what I got. <laughs> I got the wrong one. And then, um, so I called up the customer service and they've, they've always been great. They were super great. They said, actually, you keep that one. We're sending you the right one right away. And then, oh, by the way, do you have an email from us? And I said, okay, let me check. And I said, yes. And they had refunded me the, the $10 plus tax or something difference, um, for this tote. And they said, and I asked, you know, I asked, what, what do I do with this one? Do you have a shipping label for me? Cause I don't want to pay to ship it back to you. And, uh, she said, don't worry about it. Just keep it you don't want it, uh, give it to someone as a gift, which, um, I might end up doing, but I have some thoughts about this one. Um, we could talk about this one first. My, my, this, it pleasantly surprised me, but I still wouldn't pay the money for it. I wouldn't pay the, the $150, 155 as it happens, <laughs> um, for this tote. And um, a couple of things that surprised me that I genuinely like about it is I do actually like that it is a pretty plain tote. But from the website, I didn't like that it looked so plain. But when I got it and I saw this trim that Vera has actually done away with, their um, first Harry Potter tote of the, the, the very first uh, large Vera tote in the first Harry Potter collection had the trim. And then after that, Vera completely did away with trim. So I was happy, happy to see this actually make a return and it actually gives it a little bit more um, of an elegant look. Um, the embroidery pieces are great. This one's actually the envelope is a pattern, is a um, like a little velvet and then no strings. I haven't found any strings so it's actually great quality. Here's my beef about it. As many other people have said with this recycled cotton that doesn't have a quilt to it, um, it is a dog hair magnet. <laughs> um, I've also noticed some discoloration, so it's not, it's not repellent at all. I feel like if I keep it, I need to spray it with something that will help protect it. Then my other thing with, is with usually with these, um, more expensive totes, you don't, you don't get the front pocket like you do on the regular Vera, Vera tote. See right here, I've got a pocket up front with the pattern one. This one does not have it. And usually to make up for that, they will put a pocket on the side. This one does not have that. And I'll actually show you from the very first Harry Potter release. I have the corduroy one. I've used the crap out of this tote. I absolutely adore it. But they have a side pocket hidden right here to make up for the loss of the front pocket. Um, it's great for your phone, your keys. If you can still carry, it's a great, great for that. I live in the South. Come on. <laughs> um, so I was very disappointed in that. I don't think this, this tote is worth the pricing. Um, once it's discounted, half the price later on in the season, later on in the year, next year, whenever it goes on sale, if it does, um, this is a, your great pickup. But I do not believe that it's worth the $155. Um, but 
the surprising thing about it is the ditzy print is in there and in, on the inside so i love that about it um but just not i i wouldn't have paid for it what i did pay for <laughs> this is the large vera tote and i'm absolutely in love i was super nervous blind ordering but also if you are nervous about blind ordering this pattern I, there's no way you won't get a full crest somewhere. It may not be on the front like this, but as you can see, even if I didn't have it on the front, I have most of the crest on the sides. Like, it's just hard not to get a lot of the pattern. Like, here's the full, full crest on the side, too. Um, yeah. The, the reason I did order the large Vera tote is, um, I found... With the Beauty and the Beast collection, I was having a hard time getting all of the pattern, all of the characters on the triple zip hipster. So I ended up ordering the Vera tote first in that. Um, so I've just kind of used that as a rule of thumb. If I really absolutely love the pattern, which I love, I spy books, so I love finding little details in the, the large, the main pattern, um, I'll order a large bag. It'll either usually be the Vera, large Vera tote or the campus backpack. So um, this is your standard Vera tote. You got your pocket up front, your zip pocket too. You have the phone holder, which the other tote has as well. I forgot to show that, but it has it as well. And then you've got your wand holder, and then you've got a very large inside with the six slip pockets. And I mean, this is pretty large. I use this usually going back and forth to work. I'll put my laptop in here, and then usually a small purse. But um, I hope this helps. <laughs> I've enjoyed the pieces. Um, I've enjoyed talking about it in the Vera communities. I really love Harry Potter, and I love Vera. So I was, I'm was i super excited when I get a chance to talk about it. Um, if you have any questions, I'm not a, I'm not a Vera expert, but... I've, I'd love to chat about it in the comments. Um, let me know what you've purchased from this collection. If you uh, plan, have any plans to purchase, what you plan to purchase. Um, there's one more thing I want, and it's one of the blankets. I'm not too picky because I actually ended up liking both versions of the blanket this collection. Um, I'm going to take a couple of months <laughs> um, break from collecting, and then I might um, seek out a blanket or order it from the website. But that's it for now. Bye guys.